Hi everyone, JJIR here, and in this video we're going to see how to make a Telegram bot using Python and Nginx. So first we're going to Telegram here, and I've already done this a few times, but the first thing you do is find the bot father here. If you click on this guy, you'll see that it's at bot father. So you just find that in Telegram, and afterwards you're going to click on new bot, or write slash new bot, and then it's going to ask you what you want to call it. You can put it pretty much anything you want. And then for the username, you do have to end it with BOT, otherwise this won't work. So I just use the same thing here, but you can use anything you want as long as the username ends in BOT. After you're done with that, it's going to say congratulations, and it's going to give you this token here. Now, this is going to be pretty much useless after the video because I'm going to delete this, but you need to make sure that this is completely private in the future. You're going to use this for your bot when you're using Python and whatnot but it's just to make sure that you understand that it should remain private. You shouldn't be publicizing this all over the place. And after this video, for example, I'll delete this bot, and we can do that with the instructions that we have up here. So you have all of this that you can do. You can edit your bot with a set name, set description, all of that. And then if you want to delete it, like we're going to do later on, we'll just delete bot. So that's pretty much in regards to this. The only real thing we need here is just this token here. So now that we have that, we'll go to the next step. So the next thing you need to do is go into the Google Cloud platform. And this thing you're going to find by going to console.cloud.google.com. And we're going to start a new project. I'm not going to do this now. Just make sure your project name is at least six characters so you don't have all these numbers floating around. I already have other videos on this, so we're not going to waste time on it. But the first thing you do is just to make sure you get your project up and going. And then afterwards, you're going to go to your Compute Engine section here, and you're going to want to set up a VM instance. Now, we have one here that we're going to use, but just really quick, just to refresh the memory, you're going to click on this guy. It's going to open up, and then you're just going to name it what you want. And then afterwards, down here, just use, leave this here. Put this as US Central F. Go down here. This can stay in 1. This is going to change to F1 Micro to make sure we get a free tier. And then down here, you can either leave this here or just go in here, change this guy. And I usually use it as Ubuntu with the 20.04. And then put this at 30, which is the max you can have for the free tier, and then click on Select. So I'm not going to do that right now, but just so you know. Down here, we're going to put allow full access to all cloud APIs, then allow HTTP and GPS. And then afterwards, you click on Create, and then that's done. So once those two things are ready to go, and we'll jump out of here. And the last thing you need to make sure is that you have a port open in the firewall. So we just go here to three bars, go down. We go to the VPC network and then firewall rules. And you need to make sure that you have one of these open for the port that you're going to use. I have this as 5,000. But the same thing, just real quick, you just click on click firewall rule. Go in here, put whatever name you want, description, whatever you want. You can leave these as they are. This is it is. Here, you're going to put all instances in the network. Down here, you're going to just put 0.0.0.0 slash 0. And then down here, we're just going to put TCP. And then we're going to put 5000 or 5001 or whatever port you want to use. And that's it. And then you just click on Create. And that's ready to go as well. So we have nothing that we have to do. So we just go back to the Compute Engine here. And we're going to let it sit here because we need to go into the Compute Engine, the VM instance here by SSH. So we're going to open that up, and we're also going to have to copy this for our code. So these two things are what we're going to use right now. So the first thing you want to do is the SSH into that. Okay, once we're in here, the first thing you need to do is to update. Do never forget to update the stuff that you're using when you're setting up the things we see in these videos. So the first thing you want to do is to copy this. I'm going to leave this article in the description under the video. So you want to grab this, Control-C, and you're going to pop that in here with Control-V. Unlike most... Okay, that didn't grab anything. Okay, sorry about that. And what you're going to do is you're going to paste that in here. And I, as I was mentioning, unlike other terminals here in the SSH one that you open up here with the Google Cloud Platform, all you have to do is Control-C, Control-V. You don't have to do anything special with Control-Shift-V or anything like that. So after you do this, then you click Enter, and you're going to let that update itself, and then we'll be ready for the next part. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to make sure we have everything that we need for the basic installment of Nginx and Python and the PIP3 and all that type of stuff, and the Python Telegram bot library that we need. So all you're going to do is just grab this, Control-C, and then once again, you're going to hop in here. 
Control-V, and then Enter, so that can install everything. And with that, we'll be ready to go to actually begin configuring the Python bot itself. Okay, so now that that's done, we go back here, and the next thing we need to do is get the open SSL keys ready. So what you're gonna to need to do here is you need to make sure that you put the name of your private key here, your public key here, and then you're gonna put the information that you need for the SSL. So you're gonna put your, your state, your city, business name, external IP from the VM instance. And this guy, as I mentioned, is over here and this is the external IP. So that's what we're gonna put in there. So that works. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna paste this in here as well. We're in the home directory. We're gonna leave it like that for now. And again, you can actually leave it like this if you want. You can leave these names, but the idea is to name it something that you'll remember. So rename the private key, rename the public key, and then put your corresponding information here. Remember that the most important part here is gonna be this part here. That external IP has to be what we mentioned here. This guy here, you're gonna write that in there. So again, I've already done this step, but you just do that and then that'll be ready to go. Once you click on enter, it's going to pop something out that looks similar to this, stating that those are all set up and that will be ready to go so we can prepare our Nginx. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, pop this in here, which is we're gonna to go to the directory of the Nginx sites available, and then we're going to put sudo, this is very important, we can't leave vim without this this time, sudo vim, and then again, you can name this txt file whatever you want, but you have to make sure that that is ready to go. So as soon as you click on enter here, it's going to open up a brand new text file. If you don't know how to use Vim, I'm gonna put a video under, a link to the video that I have about Vim in the description below. You can take a look at that. But for now, we're gonna presuppose that that is done, and then we're going to see what we're gonna put in that text file. Okay, so inside that text file, we're gonna put something like this. And again, we have the external IP of a Vim instance, the public and the private keys. You have to make sure you put the full directory here. And then we're going to put this here, this where it says Telegram token. Telegram token is where you have to put the tokens that we got from the bot father. So it's going to look something similar to this, what we have here. So this is actually the same text file manipulated to what we wanna do here. And basically we have this ready to go. All of this is already set on the Google Cloud Platform. We have the server name, which is the external IP address. And then we have the public and private keys here. We have the token from the bot father here and here. So it goes into two places here, as I mentioned before. And the rest of this is just going to stay exactly the way it is. So again, it's not that much you have to change. You just have to follow the instructions here to make sure that these are changed to what you have in your Google Cloud Platform. And then the Nginx will be set up and ready to go. So once we get out of that, we're gonna see you back into our home directory. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this here so we can actually move that text file into the sites enabled. Very strange thing how Nginx has this here, but you have to move those text files from available to enabled. Now I'm not an expert on Nginx. Hopefully in the future I can do a video on that, but for right now I'm just starting off with this. I had to follow certain instructions that I found in other places to get this up and running. So hopefully later on we can see that in more detail. For now, all you have to do is uh, copy that and we're going to paste it in here. And like I said, what this is doing is it's copying the text file that we have here in sites available and we're pasting it into sites enabled so that Nginx knows that we can activate this. Okay, so once that's done, the final thing you're gonna paste in here is this here to restart Nginx so Nginx can apply the configuration that we have just set up. And with that, this will be finally ready to go. Something like this is gonna pop out after you click on enter there, and that means it's working out perfectly. And another thing I wanna mention here is that if you need to edit that, if you need to add other ports so you can set up other bots, and you can set up as many bots as you want in that text file, that's the advantage here of the Telegram bot, is you can have 20, 30, 40, 50 bots with that one text file, you just keep on adding them here. So when you're over here, let's go back to what we were. So if you wanted to add another bot, all you'd have to do is this section here from location down to this bracket here, this, this area here, all you'd have to do is copy, paste it, make sure you're still in this in between this final bracket here, and you can set up another one. So you change a different port, put in a different token, and you're ready to go. So you can put up as many bots as you want here with the same document, but as I was trying to get to right now, when you do that, you have to make sure you use this here to remove that text file from sites enabled and then paste the sites available new text file into that and then restart Nginx again to activate that configuration. So 
Very important that you do that process each time you modify the file to make sure that it gets updated there. OK, so the final thing we need to do is get our Python script ready to go. And all you have to do is copy this here and put it in whatever thing you script you want to name it. This I just put it here as test bot, but you can put it wherever you want. So presupposing that we open that up with Vim, all we have to do is copy this and paste it there. So let's do that now. So as you can see, I've already created this. We're just going to go in there and look at it for a second. So if I do Vim here and then test, tab, enter, as you can see, we have the information here. So this is the entire thing that we copied from the story and medium there. And this is all you need. So as long as you copy this and paste it here, we're going to import the OS and a couple Telegram things. And then we have our token, our port again, our server, which is the... Again, the IP address, the external IP address of the VM instance. We have the certification, the public PIM again. And then we have a couple things here just to get us up and running. Now, in the future, we'll do another Telegram bot that's much more complex. Hopefully, we'll do some bots that actually allow us to sell things or to run things from G Suite automatically, things like that. So we have a lot of things we want to set up here. But the idea is that we have at least ready to go so we can do other tutorials on other things. But for now, as long as you have this in here, you have this set up and ready to go, all we have to do is save it, and then we'll run it. OK, so to run it, all we have to do is uh, Python here, 3, and then our test, and then Enter. And then with that, he's running. And all we have to go to do now is go to Telegram here. And then I already found this here, but basically all you have to do is just put the name of your bot here. So whatever bot that you have most recently, which would be this one, all you have to do is grab this guy, look for him here. And as you can see, I have this one here, so I have to just click on it. Now, I already started this up a while back, but either way, it wouldn't work if the code wasn't working. So here, all I have to do is, for example, if I want to do help, Click on that, and it's going to give me help us here, which is what we put in the text file here. If we go up here, as you can see, it says help is here. And then if we want to do something, how are you? And then it's going to repeat that back to me, because that's what we have here in this here, which is going to be take what we receive and then print it out again. So as you can see, that works out fine. And that means our bot is working. So now what we'll do is in the future, add some stuff to this code here so we can make other interesting things with this bot. So if you like this, please give a thumbs up. Please click on like and subscribe if you did. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave that in the comment section below and we'll get back to those as soon as we can. Otherwise, hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care.